everybody, this is Mark Blanton from the Real South of Africa. I'm actually sitting in Durban right now with this jet setting family. They've been here before, but this time they went pretty much all over South Africa. They haven't seen everything because we got a little bit more to actually show if they want to come back and see it. But this is the Beckley family. They're from California. And uh, so let me let me turn this around. They can introduce themselves. And uh, hey, let's go for it. So to my right, who do we have? Sandra. Hello. How y'all doing? Okay. <laughs> and then we got the one that's not so little no more. She was. I'm Kayla. Okay. And then we got Pops. Yeah, Jermaine. How you doing? <laughs> and then we got the gentleman over here. Darius. He, he's at what, UCLA? Yes. Doing your thing? Mm -hmm. All right. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Guys, let me turn this back to us. I'm here. There's Tasha. <laughs> She's here. I'm here. She's accounted Tasha for. Tasha Blanton, the real South African travel material. I'm, I'm here too. Yeah, yeah. She, she's right here, y'all. I just want y'all guys to know. But no, we're going to just have a quick conversation because they've been all over. So we can talk about Joe Bird. We can talk about Cape Town. They've been, we're in Durban right now. But we're going to talk about, they went to the bush, or we like to call Safari Lodge. And uh, I don't know exactly what we're going to say, so we're just going to have some quick conversation and then we'll go from there, even though we already been talking about it. Sorry, y'all missed the other part. Okay, so let's talk. How was it? How was the bush? How was the <laughs> safari lot? Because you know you're not supposed to go there. <laughs> <laughs> it was absolutely amazing, right? Uh -huh. um, so our first night there, we did the treehouse. Tell them about this tree house. Oh my Thanks. goodness, that was a beautiful view. It was a beautiful stay. It's like a little hotel room in the middle of the bush. Okay. They thought of everything. They, we had dinner. The view is amazing. Mm -hmm. The shower, the, the everything you need in that one little space. So there was animals out there. Yes. <laughs> just, 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 just walking around. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh and, yes. Okay. We could hear them. We could see them. <laughs> well, uh -huh. you know, uh, what little we could see. Okay. Um. Yeah, it, I'm not gonna lie. It was a it was a different, unique experience. Okay. But I would definitely do it again. It was absolutely amazing. Okay. Let me let me wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna get over there, Tasha. Remember when they was booking the treehouse? What we, what, what was we saying? I was like, do they understand <laughs> <laughs> what it means to stay in the treehouse? Yeah. Like, do they get it? She said she looked it up. She wanted to do it. I was like, you know what? Let's make a plan and um she was on board so i found a way to um i coerced them by the way because because <laughs> we had to find a way to make that happen and i was not going to let it not happen um and they made a way and i'm glad it worked out because she's a trooper because i don't know if i could have done that <laughs> okay but now you said made a way meaning yes. that obviously we're here yeah we're in south africa yes. and we're part of tourism they all know who we are yes and things kind of worked out that way because it we it did made things happen when she asked me i was like now i gotta go to work and <laughs> i and i and i i called my guy and i was like listen they're yeah. flying this far he said i can do this but then you need to do that yeah and it worked out it worked out so shout out to kuda yeah <laughs> and of course we've been there me. several times so and we they, know yeah. i mean thank you very much because the other part was i thought that we weren't doing it to the last night there right right and then we got there and he's like you going to the treehouse i'm like wait what yeah. yeah. What, what are we? We got, like, we dropped our stuff off right quick. They like pack a bag. It felt kind of rushed, but right. and then we went out on drive, and then they dropped us off at the treehouse. Uh, <laughs> and I'm not fire. gonna lie. I was thinking, am I gonna make it through the night? <laughs> <laughs> Especially when I hear like lions roaring and hippos. And, I mean, you actually hear them. Yes, yeah. and it, they sound closer probably than they are. Right. And but to be honest with you, I was more afraid of the. The, what, the monkeys? monkeys? Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. afraid of the monkeys. But yeah. I didn't see any. Yeah. I didn't actually see any. Okay, so. okay. Kayla, are you ready? Lynn. You, Kaylin. Kaylin, excuse me. Kaylin. You was up there, right? Mm -hmm. It wasn't bad, was it? No. Was, I, it, was the internet? That's really all that matters. <laughs> I think mostly was the weather that uh. got to me because it was, it was, it was, it wasn't raining for like most of the night, but it was really windy. Like it was yeah. really hot. And I just, I was like, I'm going to die. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to get me, I'm going to get eaten by a, a hippo or something. Uh -huh. like, I was really nervous. But it was really, it was nice. It was yeah. Nice. It was two things at one time. Yeah. So now if you would have came down from the treehouse, you would have been exposed. I mean. Kind of. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> okay. We would have made sure you was okay. Yeah, we would have made sure you was good. 
Who? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can say the same thing. It was definitely because it was uh, kind of warm up there. Mm -hmm. like it was really muggy at, at the time, so it was a little bit difficult to sleep, but it was definitely the experience was... was yeah, you're talking about being outside. We, yeah, we you were outside. outside. You didn't have any walls. No, nothing. Just a net over, yeah. the, over the actual beds to you know keep from mosquitoes or whatever. Yeah. But that's that's all of protection. And then we did have the roof over because it did rain mm -hmm. that morning, uh, which was, was weird because you can hear the rain just like patting on the, on the roof and everything like that. We just like, mm -hmm. yeah, like, you, you can't go nowhere. You got to wait until these people come and pick us up. So yeah. It's like, <laughs> so it was... Uh, it was an interesting thing. Like I've been camping before, but that's like literally being outside. Like, because you was in a lot of people don't realize that you was actually in Kruger National Park. Yeah, like yeah. one of the largest parks right. in the. Right. In, in, I know in South Africa, but in in the world. Yeah, and you can so hear hippos right right outside the thing. Like, yeah, we had a flashlight because every time we hear something, we like point the flashlight, like trying to see what where these things are, and it was just like yeah. <laughs> it was no, crazy. that could be that could be a little scary, but it could yeah, be yeah. it could be exciting at the it same was, time. It was, yeah, it was. Okay, it was, and then. I'll do it again. And then you had your whole family out there. Yep. Keeping them keeping them safe. Yep. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I have my flashlight. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The so flashlight which, was all I was gonna use. Oh yeah, okay, okay, okay. Who's the fastest? Yeah, I, if it comes down to it, I'm I'm they'll be alright. <laughs> yeah, they, they'll be okay. Um but now nah, he lying because I'm the one closest to the door. Okay. <laughs> uh, she talking about she don't want to uh, be close to the door. Like something's gonna get her. I'm like, if we something's in here, we all gonna get got. Right? Yeah. <laughs> but that's beside the point. You know, uh, it was a good experience. I, yeah. I liked it. Um, as far as camping, you know, we had been camping before, but that was probably like the closest we actually been to some real yeah. wildlife. Um, and my only concern was just like how hot it was. You know, and we had just came from a week in Joburg, and my room back there was hot all night. So I'd been sleeping in, in the heat uh -huh. at that point. I was used to it. I was just hoping to, you know, finally be in the in some shelter that night. And then they told us, "Oh, you're going to the treehouse." So I was a little bit upset about that. But okay, you know, even hopping in the shower, thinking, "Oh, finally some relief." You step right back out. You sweating again. So yeah, it, even, it was all that. But I mean, I I would do it again, definitely. Really. Yes. Not in the same season. Yeah. <laughs> Will you do it with them or you come on your own? I, I'd come on my own. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's some four people in that little space. I don't know. So, <laughs> so this could have been like a reality show. They had a camera. They could have just <laughs> been interviewing right. y'all. Right. <laughs> not only did we have to make sure that we not looking at each other, but I kept worried. I was worried a monkey was going to come up and start staring at me in the shower, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. It felt weird. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. A new experience. There's, there's nothing. I mean, you can see everything out there. Yeah. So it's like you're not you're not shielded from anything. Except I mean obviously being in the treehouse we got like kind of the door that kept uh anything from coming over there. Sure. Except for monkeys, because monkeys can climb trees and they can get in yeah. if they want to. But we didn't see any monkeys. But yeah, you you literally right there in the middle of everything. And it was So it was I'm hearing two things. I'm hearing like it was amazing. It was yeah. nice, but at the same time, it was it was, oh, it was unnerving. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what about this one? T uh, tell, tell. I, I I agree. I really liked it. Again, I would do it again, not in the same season. Um, through the night, I felt I was I didn't sleep like a baby, of course, because I was like nervous, like uh -huh. oh, somebody's gonna get me. And every two seconds, <laughs> these two were snoring. Oh, really it made it loudly, worse. And I and I'm like. Is that a hippo or is that my brother? Like, I'm, just, I'm nervous and I'm scared and I don't. <laughs> okay, okay. Y'all, we're gonna do the real South Africa <laughs> reality show because these are things that I did not hear about <laughs> before I turned this camera on, which I probably should have. Uh, okay, but the views were nice. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you actually saw the universe. Because <laughs> you can actually see the universe. It was amazing. Was it cloudy? Not yeah. when we the, first got there. The moon uh, came out. So we actually, that came, gave us a little bit of light for the moon. Before. Okay. It was a little bit cloudy once it get behind the clouds and you couldn't see anymore. But okay. the moon was actually giving us a, a lot of light. Okay. Bit. Okay. Yeah. So 
people you need to understand they had they chose the the tree house, house option there's plenty of other options out there as well and i'm glad they they chose it uh and whatnot and, and had the experience so they can live to tell about it <laughs> as they say it was a great experience now you you guys actually went to a place that had like doors and and, and walls and yes. and a nice location yes. out at at, 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 on the on the on the game drive, how was that? We talk about, <coughs> talking about talking about Sabi Sands. What? Yes. Okay. So, um, yeah, I was blown away with that. That room was. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. You guys did a great job at the one previous, but uh -huh. this was this was even better. This of course, was even better. It was amazing. And there's I loved, levels to this thing. Yes, and I love that they had their own space. Mm -hmm. The kids. That mm -hmm. was great. It was a beautiful room. Loved okay. it. Absolutely loved okay. it. Okay. So you would go back. I would. Okay. So, so describe like where you were. So people that are has never been, they think when you go to Safari Lodge that you just kind of like out there. Yeah, it's not mud huts. <laughs> yeah. It's like a five star resort, basically. Mm -hmm. You know where people are are literally catering to you personally, mm -hmm. right? Like you got people who are there just for you your driver, your butler, like everybody wants to make sure that you're safe and that you're mm -hmm. taken care of and that you get the best experience ever. Yeah. Like, it's absolutely amazing. The bed is nice, the, the they have the bathtub, they got the, the spa, the just the private pool. Oh yeah. The view. By the way, the, the pool river, was heated. I don't know if you got in it, but it was heated. Of the view of the river, well I did because it rained. Yeah, but yeah. The view of the river, Yeah. you couldn't beat that. Yeah, we actually saw animals being from our room, like we saw a hippo like the last day mm -hmm. uh, from the river, because where our room was, the river was right across there. So you could see the animals like right there. Yeah. So I think that last day, because we didn't actually get a chance to see hippos during the drive. And so I was like, oh, there's a hippo right outside my room. I put yeah. my camera, <laughs> took a picture of the hippos. I'm like, okay, there you go. <laughs> no, but people don't think it's significant to see these animals in their natural environment. Yeah. They just think it's, oh, it's kind of like the zoo, but they're not at the zoo. Yeah. But like the zoo. Is it like the zoo? No. no. It's not like the zoo at all. There's no cages, there's no walls or anything. If you're lucky you might actually see a hunt. Like yeah. these animals are they're in their environment. And they they they, they hungry and they see something they want to eat. So, <laughs> it is what so, it is. so so did it did it seem like it was dangerous? No. No. Yeah. I think the uh, the driver and the, uh, the scout uh, or the ranger, um, you know, they 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 have a, they're very knowledgeable about all of this stuff, and so they know where to go. They know how to be in certain spots. And yeah. the animals are used to, from what they tell us, they're, they're used to the, the actual jeeps being out there. Mm -hmm. So they don't, you know, they they're not looking at you as you know some type of meal or whatever, unless you actually get out of the jeep. And yeah, they you start running around. <laughs> but but uh, this is this time because yeah. the last time we went. We were not allowed to get out yeah. of the jeep, mm -hmm. but yeah, we got some out of jeep experiences. Right. Oh, okay, room. okay, yeah. okay. I didn't get out. Every time she asked, I was like, "No, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna stay right yeah, here I gotta, because I, 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 I kind of look around. <laughs> I'll let them go." Yeah. But that was amazing to actually have that out of jeep experience. Okay, okay, okay. And by the way, did you did you ever get a get a get any AC out there? Any showers or anything? Eventually, yeah. When we got back after the treehouse. Um, the room that we stayed in or whatever it had AC, I had to make sure it was on the whole time. Yeah. So, <laughs> no, that's good. You know, um, it was nice and cool. Um, and they, you know, even though it was raining, they kept us um, in pretty much good conditions, always had an umbrella nearby and yeah. you know, just making sure that the outside didn't affect you being inside. Okay, okay. So did they feed you out there? Did, 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 they, did they give you food? Yeah, it, I mean, I can understand the portions being big just because they do feed you three times a day, like eating that much food. Um, and, you know, even if you don't make the times for like breakfast, lunch, or dinner, they always try to provide for you something to have. Yeah. Even like you going out to the uh, drive, they'll give you snacks and, you know, have all this stuff prepared and all this, you know, you know it was just good food. I, I, I enjoyed it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, let me ask you this. Did y'all get a chance to go to the spas out there? Because so people don't associate a spa with being out in the woods. No, we did. Uh, and that's something I know my wife does off every time we go somewhere. So this this woman. It's, there's a spa, <laughs> and we we did. We got a massage. Uh, uh -huh. I think it was the second day. 
second or third yeah and uh yeah so it's it's good you know some of the best massages you can get so yeah okay pretty nice facilities too uh everybody there is pretty nice and cordial and everything so it's yeah it's worth it yeah it's worth it okay so is it is it is it much different than being like in the city like say Johannesburg and being out there but is it how like how is it different um in your own words well you there's nothing I mean because when you get picked up from the airport you're literally there you're in the bush you know yeah there's no buildings there's no not even really even wire as much and uh it's just like you you out there you know and Mm. Uh, it's definitely much different. It's it's kind of weird though when you think about it. It's just like first you're in Johannesburg, you got all these buildings and all yeah. these houses and everything around there, and then all of a sudden you're in this bush where it's all the animals, animals are, <laughs> and it's just like like wow, like it's 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 crazy to think about it like that. So was it peaceful? Oh yeah, that's very, that's very, the reason why I go because yeah, it's yeah, peaceful. Yeah, yeah, you don't hear anything. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well you hear the birds and the animals, but yeah, okay, very very peaceful. Okay. That's, it's one of my favorite things actually, actually coming here because I think the last time we came um, when my wife we were talking we were talking about coming to South Africa at first and me being a photographer I'm like oh, we gotta go to Kruger like that's, yeah. that's I'm like we going to South Africa we gotta go to Kruger like I gotta take pictures of these animals out in the wild so mm-hmm. like, so yeah that's one of my favorite things to go out there too so. okay yeah. so what was your impression of being out in the in in the safari experience um, I definitely enjoyed it I really really like animals so it was uh-huh. fun for me to see all these animals um, even though I saw them last time we came it was refreshing to see them again like in a different area because um, they were in the same areas we were in last time um, so it was really nice to see it was really relaxing like the animals were cute and <laughs> I saw a lot of things I didn't see last time yeah there was it was um, I'm pretty sure it was their breeding season for a lot of the animals. Mm-hmm. So I saw a lot of babies, like baby zebras, leopards, all that. Cool. cool. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Seriously. So what, what was your impression of being out there? Seriously, you know, you're, you're a woman, you know, a lot of women that don't want to go out to these locations. They're like, oh, I, don't, I just all I want to do is go shopping or whatever the case may be. But you opted to go to the treehouse, obviously. Yes. And you you endured that, but then after that you came down from the treehouse. I guess you climbed down, I assume. <laughs> and, I, <I'm> assuming. <laughs> and and actually set foot in in, in a proper safari lodge. Mm-hmm. So, would you tell people to go to a safari lodge or maybe? Absolutely. And, you, and actually, you get we get that question a lot. People ask about the animals and they want to know how safe that is, mm-hmm. and they're worried about those kind of things. I don't feel unsafe at all. Like yeah. they, they're making sure that you're taken care of, but the animals are not thinking about me. Like they're not, you know, they're doing mm-hmm. their thing. I'm not bothering them. They're not bothering me, but it's very relaxing. It's it's peaceful and it's it's like quiet. You're out there. And honestly, I, when we stayed at the treehouse, right? I, I said, that tree it's house. so quiet here, yeah. right? But I'm thinking, but I bet you can hear a tree fall. Like, for real, like, yeah. <laughs> this is a place where you actually hear the tree fall. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was it was just beautiful, like the all of the sounds, the animals, the water, the and when you get you've done it enough where you hear a sound, and you're like, I know what that is. Yeah. <laughs> After a while, you spend enough time out there, you kind of get in tune with with everything. Like if you see a tree that's knocked down, you know an elephant just came through there not so long ago. Right. And stuff like that. Cool, cool. So overall, I mean, obviously this is you you get you guys the second time here in South Africa. Um, y'all did a lot the first time. This time y'all did, uh, I think, a little bit more. One or two extra things. I'm not really sure, but <laughs> but you know, how was how was your experience with the you know with the real South Africa as far as like making sure things went well for you? Um, and I, I I don't even need to say this you know, like I and I, I was just saying that mm-hmm. I can't travel <laughs> mm-hmm. without you guys now. Like I need you to figure out where else you're sending me so mm-hmm. I can. <laughs> can go because it's it, i i can't see i've booked trips for my family i've planned events mm-hmm. that's stressful to have somebody else do that for me mm-hmm. and i don't have to worry about where i gotta be somebody's gonna tell me oh sandra you gotta be up this day go here go there and i'm taken care of yeah i don't have to think about anything all i have to do is mention your name if i have a problem 
or give you a call. It happens, yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. And if I have a problem, but I didn't have any problems. Yeah. Everything went smoothly. You know, I'm I'm where I'm supposed to be. Somebody's there waiting on me, making sure that I, you know, that, hey, check it in with me. You're, I'm yeah. here for you. I'm waiting for you. Getting me where you need to go. And just the guides themselves, the people that you connect us with, yeah. they they make sure we're safe. You know, mm -hmm. they make sure we're safe. Yeah. And it just feels really good. I didn't. I don't. That's the best experience for me. Like knowing that all I have to do is show up mm -hmm. and you took care of everything else. <laughs> yeah. Yes. yeah, a lot of people don't realize we have teams of people around that, that takes care of these things. And uh, I'm sure we've had a conversation or two with these people. Yeah, um, more than enough yeah to make sure everything goes, <laughs> goes well. But I think a lot of us, um, especially as African Americans, are not used to traveling like this. We used to kind of like just get a hotel room and figure it out when we get there. But now that we have this apparatus, we should probably use it. Yes. Yes. Okay. As, uh, I don't know where you'll end up if you don't uh, connect with somebody who <laughs> knows where you need to be yeah. and, and where everything is, Yeah. basically. Yeah, that might not go well. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Okay. Hi, I'm Trevor Noah, and I'm South African. And because I'm South African, People from all over the world insist on asking me questions about South Africa. So, I decided to make an ad to answer some of those fascinating questions. Like, how cold and snowy is your Christmas? Well, Tracy, unfortunately, we can't afford snow. Now nah, I'm just playing. We're in the Southern Hemisphere, which means when it's freezing in Connecticut, it's fantastic in Cape Town. Klaus sent me this one. Can you play golf in South Africa? Well, Klaus, we actually have some of the finest golf courses in the world, but judging by your 37 handicap, can you play golf? How many stars are your five-star hotels? Brian wants to know, can I meet the lions? Well, I don't know if you want to meet them, but you can see them on safari. And get this, it's not just lions, Brian. We've got everything. There's elephants, there's rhinos, there's giraffes, there's buffaloes, there's leopards. Come on, man, expand your horizons! Ostriches. Is South Africa fun? Is it fun? Are you even watching this commercial, Michelle? Paragliding, bungee jumping, surfing, river rafting, shark cage diving, hot air balloons, hiking, cycling, wine tasting, whatever this guy's doing. Does that not look like fun to you, Michelle? Does that not look like fun? So, now that I've shown you South Africa, my only question is, when are you coming to experience it for yourself? Do yourself a favor. Come to South Africa. Come to the Kruger and enjoy what is meant for you to enjoy. Look at this environment. Can't you see yourself enjoying yourself right here with the real South Africa travel and tourism? Well, we can make it possible and we can do this for you today. Go to our website, therealsouthafrica.com and book and you'll be part of something like this. Something very special, something you can tell your friends and families that you did. And yes, this is Africa. This is the Africa that they do not want you to see. But we're going to show it to you and we're going to make it available. And yes, we've been there ourselves and we feel that this is the best experience that you can actually have here in the Republic of South Africa. So come here on safari with us. And of course, visit our website, therealsouthafrica.com. So much for spending time with us today. If you like what you saw, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the notifications button so you don't miss out on all things The Real South Africa. Thanks again.